Good morning, Matiyom 1 slash 1. Okay, so my name is Teacher Peter, and today we are working with Scratch Programming. Okay, now <clears throat> Scratch Programming is a software that teaches students how to think and solve problems in a step by step method. Okay, so it's just a software that teaches students how to think and solve problems in a step-by-step -step method, okay? And today's objective is to write a program that helps you find the square root of any number. So you can translate in Thai so that you can understand. So our objective is to write a program that helps you find the square root of any number okay so we'll just go straight to scratch program and start our project now this is scratch software okay and anytime you want to start a scratch software you have to click on the event and then drag when the green flag is clicked. So when you click this flag, it means go. Okay, it says go. So now you can start creating your project. Okay, so you have to start with this when the green flag is clicked. Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, what we will do is we'll just click on control and choose forever. So this is a forever loop, okay? That a loop means it it's a it, it it will never end, okay? So it's forever, okay? Until you click this stop button, that's the time it will stop, okay? So if you are counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It will repeat again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? It will never end. So that is a loop. And for you to stop it, you have to click on this green flag. So this block here means forever. Okay? So everything that we will do inside here will be forever until we click on this stop button. Okay, now what we want to do is that we want to enter a number, okay? We are looking for square root, so we have to start by entering a number. And for us to do that, you click on the sensing block and then ask, okay? You can ask anything here, okay, and wait. So what we will do, we will type and say enter. Uh, so this will be enter, enter any number, okay? So this means that it will help us to enter any number in our program, okay? So if I click on this and when I click on this green flag, you will see enter any number. So you have a space where you will have to enter any number. You can enter 7, you can enter 9, you can enter 5. So you can enter any number. So this block here helps you to enter any number. Okay. Then after that, what we will do is that we will create a variable. So make a variable. And the first variable, we will call it a number. Okay, so that's the first variable, we'll call it a number. <laughs> then the second variable, make a variable, and this one we will call it square root. Okay, so this is square root. And then it's going to be square root number, just like that. So that's the square root number. So we have two variables. The first one is the number, okay? And then the second one is the square root number. So this number here, this number 
is the number that we'll put down here. So if I press number 8, that is the number that will be recorded here. Then after that, we will look for the square root of that number. Now, for us to take this number from 8 and put it here, what we have to do is that we have to click on set my variable, okay? So we have to set this variable to number, okay? And then we click back to the sensing and pick up the answer, okay? Now, what this means is that I will enter a number. So let's say I enter number 8. So this number 8, we have set it to number, Okay, so this number 8 will be here, okay? Because this enter, this number 8 is the answer, okay? So what we will do is that we will set it to the variable number. So let me show you what I mean. So this is enter any number. So let's enter uh, number 8. So if I click enter, Number eight. So if I click enter. Oh, okay. We have to set the answer, actually. We have to set the answer. So drag this and place it over there. Okay. So this is the answer. So number eight is the answer. So what we have to do is that we will type number eight. When I press enter, you will see that it will be recorded up here. Okay. So if I put number 9 and click enter, it will come over here, okay, to this number over here. So what happens is that you enter any number, okay, then you set that number to receive the answer that you put here. So if it's 9 or if it's 10, okay, so 10 is the answer. So if you press enter it will come to this number over here and which the number is over here okay good now after that we have to calculate the square root so we have the number here okay but now we want to find the square root of this number so what do we do just come down here and then pick another set variable and then that right now it's gonna be square root number Okay, so we are picking this answer here, which is number 10. Okay, and then we want now to calculate the square root. Okay, and for us to calculate the square root, we come to this green block here, which is the operator. Click on the operator, scroll down, look for this ABS. Okay, now if I click down, you find that ABS, you have so many things that you can do. You can find the square root. You can find the scene, cos, tan. I mean, so many things, okay? You can log. You can find uh, power 10, okay? All these things are calculations, okay? But for us, we want to find the square root. So I'm going to pick on that square root, okay? Then... I will pick this square root and I will put it in there. Let me let me do it one more time. So I'll pick this square root and I will put it in there. Okay. So this means that we set the variable, which is the square root number, to calculate the square root. Okay. And with, what are we calculating? We are calculating this number here, number 10. So what we will do is that we'll click on the variable and pick the number, okay? So this number is this 10 over here, okay? So let me explain this one more time. So when you want to start your program, you start with when the green flag is clicked, okay? Then we have a forever loop, which is this one here. Okay, and when if you, if you want to come out of this for of this loop, you have to click on stop. Okay, then after that, 
you enter a number. So we enter number 10. And then this number 10 has to be set in the first variable. And the variable is number, this number here. And then this number 10 is the answer. So this number is this one. This answer is this one over here, which is 10. Then after that, we set the square root. And the square root is this one over here. And then you have to calculate the square root of this number here. So this number is this one here. Okay. So if you calculate the square root, we will get the answer. Okay. So let's try and see if our program is working. So if I click enter, if I click enter, okay, let's say, let's put a number, let's say number five, then if I click enter, it will calculate the square root and the square root of now of five is 2.2, .2, okay? So if I put 25, then press enter, you see the square root of 25 is five, okay? If I maybe say 600, and then enter, you find the square root is 24, okay? So that is how you create a program that helps you calculate the square root of any number, okay? So if you want to come out of this loop, what you do is that you click on stop and you will come out of this loop, okay? If you want to start, you click on this, Okay, and that means that you are, this yellow line shows that you are under this loop. So if you want to come out of it, you click stop and then you come out of that loop. Okay, so I think this one you have understood. And if you have any question, please go ahead and ask. And don't forget, please, 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 do not forget to practice Okay, and once you practice, you can send me your video or a picture and let me see what you have done. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.